nikauliza brother yangu we ebu zoom vizuri kwa sababu i'm not imagining this is my sister and my husband profile picture yake ni my husband akimuishia vile anamwambia hayo mambo ya mapenzi mambo ambayo mimi aliniambia kitambo for now he doesn't tell me <laughs> sasa anaambia sister yango so my mom rushed to that house akamuita kwa jina akamuuliza why are you doing this mm. si tulikuwa tumeongea nikakwambia uachane na mzee wa wenyewe that is Lilian's husband so kwa nini wewe usitafute mzee wako na uko kazi so you just wait for your time you look for your you know what she told my mother huyo mm. siwezi muacha for the first time akamuuliza utamuacha yes from there my mom became so mm. uh, ni kama confused, confused. So huyu jamaa kumtext ah kumbe sister yangu ndio ako na simu yake akani text akaniambia usiwahi itisha bwana yangu pesa ameni text back Hello, welcome to Tuko Talks. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now, my guest today never thought her husband would leave her for her sister, and she openly admits that it broke her heart and drove her into a state of depression, but she has forgiven them, saying that's a burden she no longer wills to carry. And so without further ado, please allow me to let her introduce herself. Hello, hello. Uh, hello, Lynn. Mambo. Opo asana. How are you? I'm very good. Welcome to Tukota. Uh, thank you so much. Yes. I appreciate kukua hapa siku hii ya leo mm -hmm. and I thank God for this opportunity. Yes. Uh, my name um Lilian Migwi, I'm a Lilian Wanjiru Migwi, <laughs> a mom of two that is uh, of two beautiful children that is Naomi and Joshua yeah. oh Na you have a baby girl and a baby, a baby boy. girl and a baby boy mm -hmm. and i appreciate the, i appreciate them so much yeah. yes now let me ask you Lilian mm -hmm. when 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 you sent me an email yes. and you told me i want to come and share my story yeah. and then i called you for the brief mm -hmm. i was like your own sister can do that to you yeah my own sister that's your blood sister my blood sister mtu ambaye tumelelewa naye pamoja yeah. eh, mtu ambaye tumeishi naye pamoja uh, boma moja eh, my own own sister who is the older one you or I'm her? the older one she's my younger sister ni mwenye amenifuata sasa cuz we have uh, we are three sisters in our family mm -hmm. and three brothers mm -hmm. so ni mwenye amenifuata mimi i'm the first born she's the second born yeah we have grown up in a nice family a family which uh, we've been going to church my mom has been so good to us my dad has been so good to us now i never thought we would reach to that point my sister would betray me or she would go with my husband so i've been uh, a loving sister to her and mm -hmm. also to my other sister and also to my other brothers i think i've been so good to them mm -hmm. to that point mm -hmm. Uh, she came to okay let me just say to kunizoea yeah. that is what i would say mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so she she made she made that point of maybe i can just do that to her yeah it would take me uh, take me back to you guys growing up mm -hmm. i know you've said you came from a very religious family yeah. how was it like especially the connection between you and your sister my connection with my sister was uh, a little tight it was tight cuz i loved her so much and she loved me too but uh, at some age it reaches to a point uh, that kuna uh, age yenye hamuelewani as sisters hata kidogo hata kidogo she finds that ukimwambia uh, chochote hauni kama unaweza muambia kwa sababu imefika to a point ni kama ame ameona ni kama mnatoshana mm. cuz unaona our age difference it's uh, one and a half or two years yes. so anaona lili anaezi niambia kitu haezi ni show anything haezi ni direct hivi ama hivi so mm. tunakuwa tunagongana lakini i think that is hiyo iko kwa family mtagongana mm. alafu mnarudiana mnaongelesha mnarudiana mm. kwa sababu mko kwa familia moja mm. kuna hii time tumepatana na huyu mzee wangu tulipatana nikiwa college 
and uh, tukakuwa friends very good friends tukagojeana tu unaona zile ku date na nini tuka date uh, tukaingiana sana and then it, alikuwa mtu wa aina gani alikuwa mtu mzuri sana and that time he was a born again dude na pia alikuwa anahubiri alikuwa into christian sana and that is why i loved him nikaona huyu jamaa kama ashaingia kwa kanisa na mimi pia ye yeah, hata ndio alifanya niingie kwa kanisa for that matter mm. nikaona huyu jamaa kama ako into church sana si hata mimi tunaweza tunaweza ingia kwa chacha sana and now i became more spiritual than him lakini pia yeye alikuwa anaenda na hubiri he was more into church mpaka alikuwa anaingia kwa media fulani yenye sita taja hapa mm. he used to preach there and he used to even to host uh, some bishop interviews mm. there mm. so i thought uh, this is a good man hata nimeangukia tunaweza settle na yeye na maisha itakuwa mzuri mm and uh, to cadet to cadet and then i became uh, pregnant and uh, i gave birth to my to my daughter who is Naomi now oh. and he was a good father alikuwa baba mzuri sana baba mzuri sana sijui nikisema mzuri mnaishikaje ile poa ile poa kabisa yani huyu mzee alikuwa mzuri sana ungemfikiria anaweza fanya kitu chochote kibaya cuz akinikosea tulikuwa nilikuwa namketisha chini na mwambie unajuaje umenikosea hivi na hivi and he could apologize so fast mm. niambi unajua Lilian nimefanya hivi na hivi but i'm so sorry and we could come together kwa sababu unajua tulikuwa tume tumeka for seven years tuna date tunaangalia na hivi mm. so we are we were very social as in ulikuwa umempenda na nilikuwa nimempatia roho yangu yote unaona unajua kuna watu wanakuambia like ukidate usipatie mtu roho yako yote mm. so i had given this dude ro yangu yote i think my whole me ilikuwa kwake na nilikuwa nimemtrust ile sana huyu jamaa hizi fanya kitu chochote kibaya like he can never hurt me <laughs> na akiwa karibu na sister zako na brother zako alikuwa na behave aje now to go there he was so close and i made him so close ni mimi nilimuonyesha these are my siblings these are my sisters nikawapatia hiyo freedom ile freedom na nikawa connect vizuri sana and so he was a good guy na Una... wazazi walikuwa wanampokea aje walikuwa wanampenda sana walikuwa wanampenda sana especially my mom was like ukiona mtu mwenye lile anamependa this guy must be something something and my mom was like he's a good guy no ukiona madhe amesema that guy is thick and then i was like oh yeah Jehovah. It, yeah but uh, na mimi pia mali mi usema nilikosea i think i gave him that freedom ya kupatana with my sisters uh, for the dudes i have no problem cuz um, i had a sister who was at college during that time he time to make na eh my sister who was uh, alikuwa anasoma hapa university mm. and uh, now my sister they used to stay together so we used to visit them with my hubby. Mm. Tunawafanyia shopping, tunaenda huko like uh, tuna Oh, sister kwa wili walikuwa eh, sister wangu wawili walikuwa na kapa so, moja. So tunaenda na hubby kama mewafanyia shopping. Eh, tunawafanyia shopping, tunaenda, tunawabaia kama ni viatu, kama ni nguo. You know, tunaenda tuna just to make them feel they have a big sister mm. and uh, they have this uh, brother in law and they really appreciated that now what i never know about uh, where my sister yeah. mm-hmm. got my husband's number lakini huwa ninauliza my sister huyu mdogo mm. mwenye amemfuata mm. cuz she had the number of my husband i think that is where she got the number mm. and uh, from during that time ni nimepata ball nyingine ya my second born Joshua now niko almost three months ndio hizo mambo zimeanza sasa kuingia ukiwa na ball eh, nikiwa sasa na ball ndio hayo mambo yameanza kuingia eh, ananipatia simu yake sometimes him giving me his phone na ni kitu sijaifanya ninachukua sometimes unajua alinitoa whatsapp alinitoa Facebook kunamaanisha nini alikutoa like he don't want me to go to Facebook or to go to WhatsApp 
usiende Facebook na usiingie WhatsApp. Disiingie WhatsApp na disiingie Facebook. So I delete apps zako. So hizo apps na simu niko nayo mzuri sana. Simu. Na mbona uji download it tena? Sitaki sitaki ni haribu hii marriage. Eh. <laughs> I want to maintain this marriage mm. as a wife. <laughs> as a asa uma so ni the house sasa nimekuwa submissive huyu mwanaume asi asipate makosa alikupea reason ya kwa nini ametoa apps kwa simu yako yes. alisema hata kinyongeleshwe na watu kwa sababu ako insecure hiyo haikuwa red flag when someone is calling ama mkichat na mtu maybe unauliza mtu uko aje maybe you have some former classmates you have some friends no you are not supposed to talk to those people how kufikiria like, hii si upendo hii ni dictatorship ah uh, i thought like um ni nataka tu kutengeneza nyumba asa asa woman i just want to be some submissive and nisikize huyu mzee <laughs> na kwa sababu nilikuwa nimempatia trust yangu sana and i was ready for this marriage mm. yani lini kuna mali nafika miaka imesonga imefika hapo and then i thought i shouldn't waste my time again i think i need this dude tutengeneze family familia that was my intention do you think that was a mistake for me it was a mistake it was a mistake kwa sababu kama singe muonyesha like i'm too much into you ni muonyeshe you know i'm supposed to go to work i'm supposed to work as a woman kwa sababu i remember one day my mom telling me those now are the words which comes to my brain zenye huwa zinagonga zina, zina mind yangu sana huwa mm. my mother alikuwa ananiambia Lillian make sure umesoma so that when you get married to any dude uko na kazi yako hata kama unalipwa 5000 unalipwa 10000 huyo jamaa atakuheshimu and i came to realize that is true later later uh-huh. when you have that job hata kama ni kazi aina gani huyu jamaa anajua Lilian you are busy in the morning unatoka hata kama ni time gani unatoka you have got your cash you have oh. got your money this dude atakuheshimu so venye mlianza kuishi mm-hmm. yeye ndiye alikuwa na provide yeye ndiye alikuwa breadwinner so kila kitu so akikwambia delete una delete na delete <laughs> <laughs> and right now i have a niko na mtoto and you are pregnant i'm pregnant here my my kid alikuwa almost one and a half years ndio nikiwa na hii ball ngine naomi sasa yeah so it came so fast mm. he gave me his phone one day and then nikasema ukiwa tu mwanamke lazima utaanza kuangalia i got into his uh, messages and then nikaanza kuona mpesa messages to my sister's name to my sister's name to my sister name nikamuita nikamwambia si kwa na ubaya cuz she is my sister mm. nikamuuliza uh, baba Naomi why are you doing this ni kwa nini unatuma pesa kama hujakuja kuniuliza as your wife at na least nizanini. eh na niza nini unamtumia and why couldn't she call you call me aniambie Lilian niko na shida fulani nitumie pesa ningekwambia umtumie mm-hmm. cuz she knows huwa tunaenda tunawatembelea tunawafanyia shopping mm. and all that at least ile ile heshima ndogo anionyeshe tu and then it was like you know she called while i was work and i decided kwa sababu it was urgent nimtumie alafu mm tutaongea baadaye and then i was like kama singeshika hii simu yako mm. ningekuja kujua ukweli a a singejua ukweli but god made it possible ukanipatia hiyo simu of which unipeangi niangali niangalie na nikaangalia and then alikuwa ni ule mtu wa kunyenyekea haraka nimeambia Lilian i'm so sorry and then i was like it's okay nimekusamehe but another day don't repeat that mistake yes. again <laughs> jamaa tukakaa tena the next mistake inajirudia the next mistake inajirudia ikaenda hivyo ikaenda hivyo lin mpaka moment akanifanya nikalia sana nikamuuliza sasa hii madharau ni ya nini ama ni nini inaendelea yenye ujaniambi na ukol sitaka kumuuliza kwa nini unapigiwa unatumiwa uh-uh. i never called lead um those people uh, i'm that person mwenye niki uh, nikiona shida kwanza sitakimbilia at that moment utai study N- nitai study kwanza ndio at least hata niki when i talk it out i must have evidence ndio nijue ni nini kimekuwa kinaendelea kinaendelea kwa sababu sita judge huyu sister yangu cuz she is my blood sister why should i judge her na tumekuwa na eh and i never thought she could betray me 
unelewa so i decided uh, to talk to him Nika, kuna time alifanya nilia sana and during that time i was i think i was almost six months pregnant hivyo nikalia sana nikamwambia anyway just spare me all these things ugoje tu nizae uniset to free Okay, jamaa ikakani kama sasa ameanza kukuwa raf, ameanza kukuwa hash. Now I decided to call my mom. Nikamwambia mom, can you talk to my sister and talk to baba Naomi about this issue. Made nikamu explainia, nikamu explainia kidogo mm-hmm. ukiexplainia mamu na mwambia aje ni pesa tu sister yako ametumiwa ama umediscover kuna kitu kingine ni pesa eh. anamtumia during that time sikuwa nimediscover ni kama wako na anything they mm. had any relationship mm. so i told my mother talk to my sister umwambie i'm the one who is supposed kusema atumiwe pesa ama asitumi asitumiwe aache ku communicate mm. to this husband mm. my mom akachukua huo mzigo and uh, she called my sister in fact she called my two sisters hata huyu mwingine mwenye hata huyo hakuwa na shida but uh, she made that effort mm. let me talk to these two sisters niwaambie that is not right ndio apatie huyu mwingine mawaitha so i found it good and now she even called the husband na karekebisha wakarekebisha kabisa wote now my sister kept quiet hakuwai niongelesha tena na hakuwai ongelesha huyu jamaa of which i didn't know whether they were communicating chini ya maji chini ya maji so nikaiachilia nikajo huyu jamaa amekuwa mzuri mm. akarudi normal akakuwa mzuri now it came a point nikiwa tu na ball i decided um, i want to go home to go maybe spend a week or two with my mom ushago kwenda Uh, my phone alikuwa asha ni ondole hizo apps za WhatsApp, Facebook na nini sikuwa uh, my brother akaniitisha simu akaniambia Lilian can you help me with that phone nikamsaidia aka download WhatsApp, WhatsApp. ku download WhatsApp eh uh, picha yenye ilipopa hapo ni namba ya sister yangu mwenye amenifuata kama ametengenezewa my husband alikuwa au watu wa kutengeneza graphics na nini mm. so ametengeneza kapicha kazuri ameweka kapicha kake hapo na ameweka kapicha ka sister yangu hapo anamuishia happy birthday you are my loving what hizo mambo za my sweet. loving what my loving uh, love sijui nini hizo mambo zote za love so venye brother yako amedownload whatsapp eh. whatsapp yenye hiyo profile picture mtu anaonanga eh. so ya bwanako imekuja na sister eh, ya sister yangu eh, ya sister, ya sister yangu ndio imekuja na bwana yangu hapo ya, ya. picha <laughs> of which mimi brother yangu aliniletea lil that time niko pregnant niko kwa nyumba huko nangangana na kuni niko <laughs> niko unajua ushago like unangangana and then during that time when i arrived home my mom told me like you know i want to go to nairobi to see your your dad mm. kwa sababu my father works in nairobi mm. sasa my mom akaniambia kwa sasa utakalisha boma mm. acha ni niende kidogo. Eh, ni, ni kidogo at least nisalimie mzee wa nisalimie mzee wangu sasa si ameniacha huko mimi ndio hizo vitu zimeanza kupop nikauliza brother yangu we ebu zoom vizuri kwa sababu i'm not imagining this is my sister and my husband profile picture yake ni my husband akimuishia vile ma, anamwambia hayo mambo ya mapenzi mambo ambayo mimi aliniambia kitambo for now he doesn't tell me <laughs> sasa anaambia sister yango and now i told my brother can you just screenshot that thing tupigie mama yangu na nipigie huyo mzee nimuulize what is going on na mmegojea tu niende ushago ndio nimewapatia free time and you know at that time my husband uh, tuko mbali kidogo tunaishi mbali kidogo mm. na my sisters yeah. now nikashindwa mmegoja tu niende ushago ndio mfanye mambo yote so i called my mom nikamwambia mom can you please talk to my sister umulize what is going on and then talk to this man man umulize what is going oh. on my mom also was in shock alafu nikamtumia nikamtumia hiyo picha nikamwambia can you just check it out my mother akaniambia Lilian 
kwenye niko acha nitoke ni rush mali sister yangu alikuwa naishi my small sister mm. wakiwa na huyu mm. i must talk to them because for her she was working na alikuwa anafanya job mzuri sana and ma, my mom was wondering this girl is working she has a good job why is she doing this so my mom rushed to that house aka meet my two sisters akawauliza like akamuita kwa jina akamuuliza why are you doing this mm. si tulikuwa tumeongea nikakwambia uachane na mzee wa wenyewe that is Lilian's husband so kwa nini wewe usitafute mzee wako na uko kazi so you just wait for your time you look for your you know what she told my mother huyo mm. siwezi muacha for the first time akamuuliza utamuacha yes from there my mom became so mm. uh, ni kama confused, confused akaanza kumchapa mm. akamchapa and then my sister called me my small sister kaniambia unajua mom anachapa anachapa huyu akimwambia ati achane na mzee wako I, i told mom no usimchape kama amekuambia hawataachana wacha stress just kwanza cool down maybe hata yeye hako into her senses let her cool down uh, let her cool down kumchapa haita suluhisha anything mm. you just let her be mm. umpatie time maybe hajui ni nini anasema and then utamuongele utamuongelesha mm-hmm. ukipigia the husband sasa na yeye sasa ameanza pia kukatakata madhe mm. like anaambia madhe nitakupigia nitakupigia niko place kona niko kelele niko place kelele nitakupigia Nita uh-huh. nitakupigia so tutajijazia aje these people they must have something, something. in common Now my, my mom akaniambia you know what Lilian mm-hmm. you must uh, come mm. okay i told her it's okay acha niru nirudi nikarudi the same house now we are in the same house me my sister <laughs> my two sisters and my mom yeah. tuko kwa nyumba now my mom is trying to solve these issues and now my dad is called but uh, babangu ni wakusafiri during that time hakuwa mm. so we talked uh, with him through the phone akasema when he comes back tutaonge tutaongea but he communicated through the phone with my sister akamwambia uh, whatever the name <laughs> can you please kwa familia hatujaisikia mambo kama hizo who are you to do such si unaibisha familia na una utakuwa unatesa hao watoto wenye wako na sister yako mm. you shouldn't do that hata kama for the sake of the children acha ni kama kubembelezwa Una, unaelewa anabembelezwa kama mtoto achilia bwana ya wenye bwana ya wenyewe now i told my mother she's a grown up and this man is a grown up hapa hakuna mtoto why can't you just let them it was painful in but i made my choice my mom called mother in law akapigia father in law tukapanga meeting all of us i showed up my mom showed up the other parents showed up he was nowhere to be seen my sister asha hama huku sasa wame rent ameacha kazi wameenda wameanza another life sasa hiyo nayo ikanipea depression ikoosha watu kweli wako na madharau unajua like they they have decided to move on during that moment niko na watoto wameniacha aka kengine aka kengine bado sijakaza mm. washa settle now i'm almost going to give birth now my mom ako hapa ananishika ananiambia Lilian you know all shall be well i will stand with you my dad here namshukuru sana pia ye alisimama pamoja nami sana mm. my dad mm. na ukiza alikuja hakukuja Whatever ni, nimejipeleka hosi lin and i called him nikamwambia you know what niko hosi and si god is good kwa sababu si kukaa sana i delivered vizuri sana Amen. na nikamwambia you know what i've delivered and now i have a baby boy and now he was like it is a boy oh akaambia watu kwao mama naumi Amba, sasa and, and then i felt like you know ni nini unataka ni 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 akashughulikia during that time akashughulikia nini na nini na nini mpaka tukatoka hosi sasa si tumetoka hosi nimerudi mali nilikuwa naishi mm, mm. ndio huyo jamaa ame disappear tena amerudi 
amepotea sasa amerudi sasa kwa bibi yake wa pili mm. sasa unampigia simu hashiki no i thought siwache nilele aka katoto kangu li ndio hiyo sasa maisha imeanza afresh siezi rudi pale ushagua ati nimepelekea mama yangu watoto na watoto ni wangu and now i had that thing of believing in myself mm. like ninaangalia mimi ni wale watu ninaangalia wa mama pale nje na una vile wa mama wana struggle na shindwa ni nini sina niko na nguvu naenda naweza fulia watu nguo mm. i have that energy i can go there ni uze skuma nifanye nini and during that time nikaendelea hivyo Mungu anafungua njia unapatana na wamama wanakuuliza nimebeba mtoto wangu mmoja hapa mwingine yako nyuma naenda kuuliza like unaweza nisaidia na kazi ya kufua na ikawa watoto wangu pale ninafua ninafua very early in the morning nipate angalau 50 bob niende kwa duka ninunulia watoto uji even my first born Naomi she knew huyo mtoto vile amekuwa during uh, those two years amejua uh, at some times i could wake up akule strong tea na ugali she couldn't complain and that is why i say cuz alipita hiyo stage this is the time for her to enjoy whatever her mom mm. is doing mm. this is the time mm. josh hakufika hiyo time kwa sababu josh amepata josh aja struggle sana with me but naomi she is the one who struggled with me but god has been a faithful let me tell you mungu liko unapatana na na watu watu wanatumwa tu kwa nyumba yako i don't know like they knock wanakuambia chukua hizi nguo mm. ni zao watoto mm. new clothes new shoes and then i could ask god do you love me this much na kama mungu unaona ile shida napitia why should i bother with these other people si waliamua waende waniachilie mm. and so i struggled i wamama wengine wakajitokeza sitawataja hapa but uh, good moms they stood with me they stood with my children wakaniambia Lilian enda utafute shop mahali ukipata shop utuambie how much you need and uh, tutakupatia ndio a watoto I, these children had favor a lot of favor ni juu ya tu watoto si juu yangu because of the kids mm. akaniambia nikaenda nikaeka shop uliweka shop ya eh, eh, nikaeka shop ya groceries mm nikaweka nikakaa hapo niko na biashara inakuwa mzuri hivyo during that period Mungu akanifungulia mlango uh, i met uh, my spiritual mom akaniambia nikamwambia you know mom i have uh, i've done this and this and this akaniambia Lillian i'm giving you that job na aki wamesimama na mimi wakasimama na mimi wakasimama na watoto wangu mm-hmm and i appreciate them so mm. much mm. i appreciate even my mama my dad all those who stood with me mpaka nikafika mahali nimefika ambao mm. waliniongelesha kuna sometimes nilikuwa naona lakini niko normal lakini umefika mwisho lead udashindwa utafanya nini when you imagine it is your sister mwenye umelewa na eh you have grown together umejaribu kuwa mzuri and that is why i tell people ninakuambia usikuwe mzuri sana ama watu wasione uko mzuri sana ndio watu wa take advantage cause my sister took advantage of me he took advantage of the freedom yenye nilikuwa nimempatia so mimi nikajifunza like if it is my husband hata kama ni ile connection mm. Mm. i don't think i would do that again, again. in my lifetime mm. Ebu ni kuulize Lilian mm-hmm. sai sister ko yeah. wako na bwana ko bado mm-hmm. your ex uh, husband yeah. na hata washapata mtoto yeah when you lijua hata wameenda hiyo yani wame progress mpaka wamepata mtoto mm-hmm. ulifila aje na anaangalia huo mtoto lakini angali watoto wake it was hurting especially during that time ile taimati niko pale nje na watoto wangu wawili huyu jamaa ko na pesa huyu jamaa ko na kila kitu and una struggle pale unajua ukiwa mwanadamu hata kama umesamehe uko na zile flashback nikishika huyo sister yangu mimi naweza mfanyia kitu mbaya. kitu mbaya sana but naambia Mungu tu nisaidie nisaidie tu ni anitoke tu ni wa release sasa kwa sababu imefika to that extent tu jamaa washaza 
Now what am I going to do? And for that matter, Lynn, this guy wakati ambapo sasa ameona sasa nimeanza tena kuamka. Now um maisha yangu sasa imeanza kuinuka. Now he is then coming back. Ananiambia unajuaje Lilian? You know I want you to get back to me. Like I want you to be my first wife and your sister to be the second wife. Tushaongea na sister yako na amekuba na amekubali. I know there is a time I called nilikuwa tu nataka kumpima. Nikamwambia you know what uh, watoto kuna wanahitaji mm. wako na mahitaji yao na nataka pesa mm. ya kuwanunulia kama ni nguo viatu na nini and so he told me i'm going to send you that money and so eh, ikamaliza kama wiki hajatuma and now i texted him like do you remember because siku sikutaka kumpigia pia ni si create fight uh, pia mimi ninatekia kia hii marriage yao ingine imeenda staki ni, tushikane na sister yangu tuanze kwa sababu sitaki mahali tunapatana na ye. cause hapaezi kuwa ni pazuri because i felt very bad mm. so u jamaa kumtext ah kumbe sister yangu ndio ako na simu yake akani text akaniambia usiwai itisha bwana yangu pesa ameni text back si ana anakutumia na alikutumia sijui last month but wana alikutumia pesa jua hata sisi ni wanadamu na tunataka kukula <laughs> tunataka kukula so usimuitishe pesa so i didn't respond nikaka i think jamaa kukuja kwenda kwake aliona ni kama kuna kuna hizo messages akanipigia simu akaniambia mama Naomi i'm very sorry nimeona whatever has been going through nikamuuliza kama tu mwanadamu kwani ulimpatia ruhusa mimi ya kunijibu kweli niliwaachilia na tena anataka ku create mm. another, another wound mm. another wound in my heart mm. why siangekwambia tu niambie nisirudi kukuitisha kwa sababu i'm dealing with you i'm not dealing with her sijakwambia usimsaidie mm. msaidia and i know unamsaidia but pia ajue uko na watoto wengi uko na watoto wengine wanakuhitaji and i have the right to ask for money mm. but kutoka leo mm. sitawahi kuitisha now because you are a mature man mm. you know na kuna pia mpesa kuna pia bank unaweza tuma unaweza tuma pesa hutawahi sikia and from that time lean hajaisikia simu yangu mm. nitumie nifanyie lakini yeye mimi who receive simu zake eh. and that moment maybe he wants me to meet him of which i told him right now he moved on right now i want to move on me to i want to be happy haitaka pale kama amenifunga cuz i want to make my future and i want to make the future of For these kids, kids. lovely mm-hmm. na sasa mm-hmm. hiyo ndio inafanyanga nasikia tu raha yani i feel happy mm-hmm. na nikawa release waende waende tu waende ro safi mm. na sina ubaya na mtu yoyote even my sister mm. wherever she is kwa sababu i know she will just come across this video mimi nilimsamehe nikawaachilia ukawa set free nikawa set free sasa unless said your parents mm. of which i don't know what hey, they will do mm. wazazi wamemchukulia mm-hmm. aje hata sister yako huko kwa bwana yako mm-hmm. na pia sister yako anakutanga nyumbani sister yangu haizi kanyanga nyumbani na hajawahi kanyanga although she calls my brother kumuuliza my brother to talk to my parents she wants to come home and she wants to come with this husband sasa hiyo ndio huwa inafanya my mom askie ni kama kuna madharau kidogo mm. inaingia Ata naona, eh, kuna madharau, kuna madharau iko hapo akubwa ah, so my mom aliwaambia when they give birth wasiwai include my family that is the same issue ilienda na the other family but the other fa- family si unajua huyu ni mtoto mm. wao bado mm. Mm. they will still communicate mm. but the dude goes there na bado anadanganya na ni kama tuko pamoja but we are not together i already mm. set him free, free. na mimi nikamwambia unipatie hiyo free when i need to get another man i will get another man mm. i get married mwenye atakubali watoto wangu lina ndio huwa naambia wa mama don't ever accept that man 
atakwambia ni wewe tu peke yako anakupenda he must appreciate your kids that is the first priority in my life you appreciate naomi you appreciate josh and i will understand whatever you are telling me mm. like lilian i want you yes you want me do you want my kids na mimi any person mwenye ana come across my path there is one thing huwa natanguliza kukuambia i am a mother and i have two kids are you comfortable with that if you are comfortable it's Tendele okay kuongea. yes sasa nikuulize lilian mm -hmm. why was it important for you to yes. share your story this uh -huh. is the first time you are doing so yes. why was it uh, important for you to share your story ah uh, lin i found it important uh, mm. because uh, there are so many women out there wamefika mahali wamejitharau especially women kwa sababu kuna mwanamke amepata ako na, na watoto pale nje kuna unapata mzee unadampiwa unapata mzee mwingine unadampiwa unapata ame, amepata rejection pale nje especially single ladies eh, wamedharauliwa sana mm. so i came up with that idea nikasema kama mimi nimesimama na siezi sema there are so many men come around like Lilian unajua tunakupenda tuna na ananipatia moyo ni kuona ya kwamba they are not looking at Lilian ama umezaa ama uko na watoto wawili they don't really care wewe ni nani uko hapo ujidharau who are you rise up amka rejection wachana nayo amen be positive in this life mm. ukiji accept ji accept anza kuslay kuwa smart wacha kujiachilia ati kwa sababu mzee alienda kaa smart kiatu nunua nguo nunua nywele tengeneza nywele tengeneza my friend yes Ku, kuwa mschana yeah. right now when that man looks at me like this anashindangwa kama ni mwenye alioa by the way i'm i'm sorry to say so she looks more older than me and sister she's ako. my younger sister mm. and she looked more fabulous than me right now so now, tuseme huo bwana ako na tabia ya ku, ako, ku, ku make sure wa mama wa mesa wa mama wa mama wa mesing <laughs> wa mesing <laughs> but for now this is Lillian who looks like a 23 years eh, old a mom of two a mom of two Fabulous. a very beautiful kid mimi hata huwa nafurahia eh. na lin imagine angalia ngao watoi like i look at naomi i look at josh oh my god like ni kama tunaka i don't know how sijui ni tumalaika mm. ama ni tu nini mm. i think alinipatia favor i thank him so much cause of those kids by the way kwa sababu aliniachia watoto wazuri 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 mm. sana Amina. intelligent kids yes. i thank him so much yeah. kwa sababu alinifungulia milango au oh, watoto ndio wamefanya nifike hapo nimefika hey, the favor of these children yes. not even me so mahali ambapo ulipo you have these kids don't lose hope ngangana ukiwa mwanamke ngangana ngangana na usikimbilie like for usikimbilie ati una, unataka kuolewa ama una, unataka kufanya nini don't but god shall place the right person mwenye mtaelewana mwenye atakuja atapenda watoto wako in front of you no matter ni wangapi ni wawili ni watatu uliachwa mm. mm. wacha kushinda hapo kama umejishika hivi ati nikulia unalia ati unalia don't changamka. cry changamka <laughs> changamka <laughs> you are special you are unique yes. ukikuja na pia ukikuja pale kuulizwa usiringe sana eh Uacha kuringa sana. Eh. Ukuja pale ukiulizwa, when you find this is the best person for you, we ingia box. Kwisha. Ingia box mm. na muanze ku relate na huyo mtu. Lakini si ati ile unaingia ati muanze hayo mambo haraka haraka. So tuacha kuringia wao wanaume pia. Wacha kuringia wao wanaume pia. Yeah. Ukipata that chance, eh. listen to him. Na usikule fear. Na usikule fear. <laughs> <laughs> Lilian uh, you um, your final words to your okay first mm -hmm. what message would you like to send your sister to my sister wherever you are uh, i will always appreciate you as my sister mm. and uh, i love you so much no matter what you did um i'm now born again and uh, it is painful na pia ni aibu pia kwa familia but uh, siko hapa kukuaibisha 
I'm only here to say whatever is the truth. Na unajua always the truth shall set us free. Niliku release, nika release huyo mze, ata huyo mtoto mwenye uko na ye. Ata maybe shall come and I shall communicate with you. Nita communicate na wewe no matter what. When, when time comes, I won't promise, but when time comes, I shall communicate to you. Kwa sababu, I, I always feel that bond. You are my sister. Na unanijua vizuri. Unajua roo yangu mzuri. I, unge nikosea, nige kutafuta. I still appreciate you as my sister and I love you so much. I don't know what came in your mind. I still appreciate you as my blood sister. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And to your husband. And ex. also to my, that is my ex-husband. Mm, I live to work here. The past, ex-husband. the past, the past. <laughs> <laughs> to my husband. <laughs> to my husband, okay, I loved you so much during those, uh, those days. And uh, thank you so much uh, for giving me two beautiful children. Mm-hmm. That is Naomi and Josh. Ata kama Josh hajui wewe ni baba yake. <laughs> In fact, Josh hajui kama wewe ni baba yake. Ulimuona tu once akiwa mtoto. Akiwa mtu wa miezi ngapi, miezi nne. Apo ndipo ulimuonea. Now he's a big boy. Huwa ananiambia mamu ni baie soda na mkate. You know, ni baie juice. Now, anaongea. And uh, thank you so much for the time yenye tuli spend na wewe. Na ningeomba tu, vile ulinifanya, usifanyie sister angu. Now that I've released you and now just make her your wife, kaeni tu na ye, usimfanyie vile ulinifanyia. Usim, tafadhali, usimfanyie vile ulinifanyia. Just take her kwa sababu mimi nimepona na nime move on. Yeye usimfanyie vile ulinifanyia. Oh. I wish you a good time and a happy family. Hata na huyo mtoto wenu ambaye mko na yeye for now. I appreciate. Na mm. appreciate nyinyi wote. Na mm. ninawapenda by the way because I already forgiven you. Ni umewa release. Na nimewa release. Na that's why ninaongea about forgiveness here. Mm. And you will always remain the father of my kids. Wewe okay. ukitaka kuona watoto I'm there, but hapo lazima tutaongea, mm. but feel free. Feel free, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, here on the show, mm-hmm. we always ask people, what do you do right now? Hustle ni gani? Oh, so ni seme vile, uh, now I'm a journalist. Yes. Uh, I work, ni nasema mali nafanya kazi? Hey, if you are free to say. I work at uh, Mwangaza TV. Oh, you guys, you are doing an amazing job. Yes. yes. Na wa, watu wengi maybe wana nijua. Mm. Unajua ibam to people, I'm like, oh Lilian, I watch you on Mwangaza yeah. TV. I'm yeah. there. Na pia niko na YouTube channel yangu pale. Mm. Just subscribe. Hapo subscribe, yeah. subscribe. Yeah. Na utakuwa unapata amazing videos yes. pale. Mm. Yeah, I can as well give you my number. Yeah. Uh, my number is uh, 0711 20933 0711 20933 yeah. and also my email it is uh, Lilian Migui 816 at mm-hmm. gmail.com Lilian 816 at gmail dot com mm-hmm. Ama pale katika Facebook yeah. I have my page which is a uh, Lilian Migui. Yeah. Follow that page. Wa follow. Although although ni, ni, ni although it's a new page. Mm. Facebook unajua nayo inafikanga mahali inaja. I yes. have a lot of friends in my Facebook page. Now I have my page yeah. which you are supposed to follow. So and at they will. follow yeah. And they will. Eh? Yeah. Lilian, uh-huh. thank you so much for coming. Thank and you so much Lil. your story. Yeah. I mean, I think you're such a brilliant woman. Wow. You are an amazing mom. Sure. You are beautiful, you are fabulous. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah strong oh yes you are unajua kuna <laughs> some people who are going through these things mm-hmm. but they are scared of even coming out yes and i always say mm-hmm. the mo- when you come out and share something mm-hmm. your burden in a lesson i'm you already know? healed you already healed i'm already no, healed and forgiveness is important forgiveness lean nasita hacha kukuambia mm. forgiveness if you want to go forward 
forgive. Kama unataka Mungu afungue baraka zako, hebu samehe. Samehe na uwa, na uachilie. Uachilie. Set free. Yeah. Na nimesema there is no man that can be stolen. Kama eh, sure. mwanaume aliamua kuendea mtu mwingine, ni kuamua aliamua. <laughs> it's a choice. Eh, that it is, is a choice. No sure. can be stolen. Yes, yes si kibeti. Ata, so, yes. aliamua, acha, acha aende. Eh, so you release them <laughs> and you tell God thank you uh -huh. uniniondolea hii kitu cuz imagine how it would have been kaunge baki na yeye na nitua wa tabia kama hizo so sometimes god will take you through stuff mm -hmm. ndio akutolee mavitu na inaitangwa kunguta kunguta mavundu eh, anakuondolea eh, anakuondolea so thank mm -hmm. you so much for coming and sharing your story oh, yes. and you my amazing tuko family mm -hmm. i hope you have been inspired by today's show viti za red zibado leo pia zina <laughs> Bado zinaoshwa pia. <laughs> Wataniuliza viti za red. Yes. Bado zinaoshwa. So mm -hmm. I hope you guys you are inspired uh, by today's uh, talk and if you want to share your story with me my email is pinned on that comment section as always you know how we do it go to this youtube channel the link is right here subscribe to lilian's work and don't forget to say lean from tuko sent you a huge shout out to my director edwin ochieng the man behind the scene and also our amazing editors ayuka beth and david for working tirelessly to make sure that you guys get the best of Tuko Talks. We appreciate them and we do not take them for granted. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Lynn Googie. See you on the next episode.